Settle the issues. And now there will be further hearings. The next hearing is on the 26th. No, what happens is when there are several statements made in the in the in the complaint, the authority has to narrow down that to certain specific issues. And once you narrow down that to certain issues, it becomes easy for determination as to who has to prove what and what are the issues that have to be decided. So that's what it is kept for on the 22nd. And so, what's the name of the status of the uh, license? Uh, the new excise license and the license continues. Once the fees are paid, license always continues. But the first thing you must understand one thing that here we are governed under the Portuguese civil code. Once we are governed under the Portuguese civil code, the ownership of the property is jointly in the name of the husband and wife. Understood? In terms of Article 1117. All the reports show husband and but the administration is always in the name of the husband in terms of law. But when the husband dies or any spouse dies, the administration goes automatically goes to the other spouse. So the, here the spouse already by operation of law becomes the administrator of the estate. So there is nothing further that actually needs to be done. You then you have to, if you want to go for the apportionment of the state, then you have to go to the civil court in an inventory proceedings, which has also been done here. And the court has also appointed the, the respondent here as the head of the court. Okay? Thank you. So, 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 the allegation is that the person who died has signed for the renewal of the license. See, we are in a vibrant democracy, we respect the rule of law. The authority has issued us a show cause notice. We have filed our reply to that. Let us respect that. Let us allow the authority to take, when will take that decision. Hearing? hearing is on 22nd. So, what is your name, sir? Sir, sir, eight minutes, sir. Today, the commissioner has heard the hearing. What was the. Yes, the uh, excise commissioner has today heard my complaint against the. Illegal bar license given to that restaurant at uh, Asagao, Sealy Souls uh, Cafe and Bar, which is uh, run by uh, the family of Union uh, Women and Child Development Minister Shrimiti Irani. The Excise Commissioner has uh, started the hearing today on that complaint, and the Excise Commissioner. Uh, after examining has framed two issues to be decided over this matter by the excise commissioner so those two issues have been framed and the excise commissioner has now directed the respondents to file their written submission on these two issues i pointed out to the excise commissioner that uh, this license was obtained illegally by forged and fabricated documents there has been a deviation in the established protocol because an excise license can be given only if there is a running restaurant. In this case, maybe for the first time in the history of Goa, uh, excise license has been given without there being a restaurant in place. I've also pointed out to the excise commissioner that the license was uh, renewed in the name of a dead person. So all this is in total violation of law. So meanwhile, uh, the other authorities are also seized of the matter. The, Director of Panchayats has ordered also inquiry because the Sarpanch has now given a written information to me that uh, no construction license was issued for this restaurant. And now later, last week, it has come to light that the illegal field in total violation of law, a tenanted field has been filled where this whole restaurant has been constructed. So the town and country planning department is also seized of the matter. So with all these three, the excise, Director of Panchayats and the Town and Country Planning Department, 
all seized of the matter. I am sure truth will soon prevail. And those guilty in obtaining this illegal license and committing all those illegal acts of uh, filling that tenanted field will be brought to book. Smriti Irani, I have never said that the restaurant is in her name. I have said and I maintain what I say. The restaurant is being run by the family of Smriti Irani. The whole world knows this and that is a fact. So I have nowhere said that the license is in her name. The license is, was in the name of Mr. Anthony Gama who has passed away. Now one of the son has come today. The other son, because I have also pointed out, we need to know where the other son is. Although we know where he is, they have to come out with the truth and say where he is. Where is? So, where is? So how is the, are the other son uh, related to this property? Could Pardon? You, how is the other son related to this yeah. property? Is he a, uh, is he one of the owners? See, Anthony de Gama, according to their according to the records, has two sons, Dean and Dale, and and a daughter. So. Dean has appeared before this uh, uh, thing, uh, before the excise commissioner, but Dale has not. So I have also drawn this attention to the excise commissioner that we, we need to know what Dale has to say on this matter too. Sir, which are the two issues that are in front of commissioner now? See, the issues that he has framed. The first issue is, is the excise license obtained by submitting false and inadequate documents and by misrepresenting facts. This is the first issue. The second issue is, are there procedural irregularities on the part of the excise officials? So these are the two issues which have been framed and, uh, uh, and the proceedings now will be guided by these two issues. No, no. What exactly? The hearing, the next hearing is on August 22nd. So until, until then, this cafe will remain closed or something uh, like that? Or is it functioning? Functionable? Operate. Different people say different things. People say that it is uh, temporarily closed. I don't know. Because uh, uh, the authorities will have to act. Now, all the other, now since the construction itself is illegal, and that is what the uh, panchayat has admitted publicly okay, by giving me information on the RTI, that they have not given any licenses whatsoever. But more importantly, the town and country planning department, because of this land filling, that is a very serious issue. I have also pointed out to the town and country planning Minister, Mr. Vishwajit Rani, I have drawn his attention. I filed a written complaint with the chief town planner yesterday and I am sure they will act. Any written submissions were made to the commissioner by either of the parties? Yeah, they filed a, uh, they filed a reply today saying that uh, uh, they are the hairs and whatever. You know, the, so I will uh, I'll send you by WhatsApp. Okay. Thank you. Um, Mr. Rani, can I just take a picture? <laughs>